What's going on guys, my name is Jay and in this quick video I want to teach you how you can add some particles to your website. Now this is something that I know that maybe you saw on different sites, um, this cool background. It's actually very easy to add. So I'm going to use a library called particle.js. It's a JavaScript library that we can use. And you can see the only thing that you need to do here is download a file and they have everything there, okay? Now we have here a user, a graphical user interface that we can use to kind of play with the options. So for example, um, how many particles you want, um, the colors of your particles, the shape of your particles, and all that stuff. So then after you're done, you can actually download your um, file, all your configuration, and then add it to your project. So it's actually very easy, but some people don't know yet how it's done. So go here, click on download first, and then go to GitHub because we're gonna need, if you go to GitHub and scroll down, we're gonna need to understand all these options that we have here. And we're gonna play with some of them so you can get familiar with, and then you can do whatever you want. So let's go to my text editor and let's see what we have. All right, so this is my project right now. Um, you will see an index.html is a very basic. The only thing you're going to have is a div and then um, you're going to call particles.js, which is the whole library. You don't have to touch that file. And then the app.js, that's the one that we're going to edit right now. So this, this is how it looks. Um, nothing special it, it looks cool but there's nothing special here right um we have a style css that we can um, control our background our div here have like a background and everything right now the height and width is like taking the whole um viewport so it's 100 percent high 100 percent width but you can change it if you want so let's go to app.js which is what we need right now so the only option we have right now is number and, and then inside number we have how many particles we want. So we can actually change this to like 200, for example, and you can see how it looks. It's a lot. So I'm going to just leave it in 100 for now. Density, that's like, like the space that we see here. So it's not cluttered. You can change that number too, but look at this. Let's change it to like 100. So it gets crazy, right? Only 100. So let's just leave it at 1000. I, like, I think it looks good. All right, so let's add more things like colors or shapes. So let's go here. So after number, number it ends here. You're gonna add a comma. And let's say we wanna change the color. So let's do color open and closing brackets, the value of that color. And here we can add like a hex um, code here. So let's add like a, a gray, or something like that. So you can see it's like a gray. Um, let's add like a darker gray so you can see it. So look at that. So it's that simple, changing the color. I'm just gonna leave it um, white for now so we can see it but the option is there now i want to change the shape so same thing coma shape open and closing brackets now we have an um an option here called type so the type is gonna be um we have a couple options like a triangle let's, let's try that let's save it and look at that, we have triangles now. They look weird, but um, the option is there. You can have a multiple. So what you can do is add a, an array. So it's gonna be a square bracket instead. And we can add triangle and a circle. Let's try that. And look at that. Now we have triangles and circles. But the one that I like is this one. And it's the one that I'm gonna use. 
is gonna be image. I save it, there's nothing. We need to add the image. So you can see here in my folder, I have a React logo PNG file. So I'm gonna do coma. So let's add image, open and close in brackets. And inside this one, we get we need to add the source of the image, which is in the root folder. So we're gonna add this and react hyphen logo dot png. All right, let's see. <laughs> Look, at it looks funny, but it's actually um, I don't know. I like it. So it's cool that you can add whatever you want, whatever image you want. I think it's better if you have like a SVG, it's gonna look a lot better, but for now I have a PNG file, so that's good. So after that's done, we're gonna go here um, after shape. I'm gonna change the speed. So let's go and add the option called move, closing opening brackets, and we're gonna enable it. Which is gonna be enable true, comma, and then speed. Let's add 10. I think this is gonna go fast. So yeah, let's do 20. This is fast. So let's just look like, let's say like one. All right, that's perfect. That's actually very slow so we can see it. The next thing I wanna do is changing these lines, these color lines and the width. Um, so let's go here after move comma, line length, uh, length, I think it's just like that. Um, it's not a hyphen actually, underscore. Just letting you know, enable true, comma, color, so I want this blue and I have it somewhere in here. Let me copy and paste it. It's that one, okay, comma. And let's see how it looks. All right, so the lines are blue, great. But then the width, I wanna change that width. Um, oops, after this one, comma, width. Uh, let's say like, um, 10, I don't know. Oh, no, that's too much. Five, that's more like, yeah, I like that one. All right, so I think that looks cool. Um, something that I wanna do is now I wanna add like a, something um, on top of this background. So I have here in the CSS, I have a style for a H1. And you can see like, I added some font family, font size, positions, absolute, and all that. You can see my particle JS have a display flex for Flexbox and then um, everything inside is gonna be on the center. So our title is gonna be right in the center. So let's try that. Let's go back to HTML. Right here, I'm gonna add an H1. And we can do, I don't know, particles. You know what, we can do React. Because we have like a ton of logos. React.js, let's save it. Look at this. So we have this title on top of all this. Let me play, let's go to the CSS and let's play a little bit with this um, opacity here so we can see it. Oh, there you go. Um, a little bit more, maybe 0.8. That's better. So we can see like um, the animation and the particles in the background, but we can actually read the title very well. All right, so that's it guys. Um, if you wanna download these files, there's a link on the description of the video. So go there, go crazy, be creative, and that's it. Subscribe if you wanna keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.